it's time to get organized. Uh, good layer organization helps your productivity later on down the line. Uh, but for now, we'll keep it simple. There are a couple things I'd like to keep organized. The first is um, the layer that we just imported is the image. And uh, just a little bit about layer zero. It's a great idea to draw things on layer zero. It's kind of a special layer. But I think it's also a good idea to get them off of there when it, uh, it is um, convenient. So we're going to create a layer that we call image. We can turn this on and off. I'll show that here in a second. Okay, so as we work, we can turn this uh, image off and see what the difference is between the analog work and the digital work. All right, so going back to the top, we're going to do all of our topography lines in the top view, but uh, I would like to keep all the topography lines on, the, uh, on their own separate layer. So I'm going through and I'm starting down at the bottom where the water body is. We might also call that a lake. And I'll be typing in two-digit numbers for the elevation. So if you've not looked at a topography plan before, these lines are kind of like a layer cake and stack up. Also, you might think of them as a stair step in the way that they're drawn here. So every topography line represents a two-foot increase in height. And so uh, this will, uh, will, it's necessary for us to have a uh, layer for each of these so we can keep them organized. As we draw some of these, I'll explain for instance, what that feature is in the middle. For now, I'll go ahead and tell you it is a retaining wall. That's the thin line and a concrete pad on top of it. And this is a, a, a way of thinking about our building pad. So I'm continuing up 26 feet, 28 feet, and I'm going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to have to pan down here to see what my last elevation is. Okay, that's going to be 36 feet until I get to the main road. So imagine this site is up about 36 feet on the main road, and then it tumbles down to the beautiful lake below, and we're going to put our workshop in the woods there. 